Hello, my lovely students. Today, we will start our first lesson for this year. Our first lesson is about 3D shapes. Let's start and know about their property and their name. At the end, students will be able to Identify 3D shapes and their properties. Identify 3D shapes and objects they use in their daily lives. We're gonna start with the 3D shapes definition. 3D shapes are any solid object. 3D shapes are nothing but solids that have three dimension, length, breadth, and height. The D in a 3D shape stands for dimensional. These 3D shapes occupy space and are found in our daily to day life. We touch, feel, and use them. We're gonna start with the property of the 3D shapes. We have three. The first one is faces. The second one is vertices, and the third one is edges. Let's see the definition of every single property. The first one, faces. A face is a flat or curved surface on a 3D shape. The second one, vertices. A vertex is a corner where edges meet. Edges and edges is where two faces meet. We have the first 3D shapes is cube. A cube has six faces. Eight vertices. This is the eight vertices. And twelve edges. The second one is a sphere. A sphere has one faces, zero vertices, and zero edges. We have the cuboid. The cuboid has six faces. This is the faces. Eight vertices, this is the vertices, 12 edges. Cuboid. The above 3D shape is a cuboid, which is box-shaped object. A cuboid has six rectangular faces, which are the outside surfaces of 3D shape. A cuboid has 12 straight edges which are the lines between the faces a cuboid has eight vertices which are its corners where the edges meet a cuboid has exactly the same number of faces edges and vertices as a cube a cuboid is different from a cube in that its edges are longer in at least one direction Whereas a cube edges are all equal in length. So now we have the cylinder. The cylinder has two edges, three faces, and zero vertices. The cylinder has two identical circular faces on top and bottom, along with one curved face around the outside. The pyramid. A pyramid has five faces. Five vertices. This is the five vertices. On the left and on the right is the five faces. And you have eight edges. Let's see. This is the five edges. 
The pyramids has four faces are made of four triangles on the side and one rectangle on the base. Cone. A cone has two faces, one vertices and one edges. The cone has one circular base face and one continuous curved top face. The pointy end to the cone is its one vertex. It is possible that your child may mix a cone up with either a cylinder or a pyramid. And now, let's see some example from real life uh, using uh, 3D shape. So, we're gonna start with the cube. Can you think of any object which are the shape of a cube? This is some example. You have the clown, you have the toy for the children, dice, uh, gift books. So many toys you can find it that uh, are the shape of cubes. All the solid objects are 3D shape. Now, can you think of any objects which are the shape of a cube boat? We have many. We have TV, books, books for the cornflakes, building. So many choices that you have, you can see around you and many object and solid object. Now, can you think of any objects which are shape of a sphere? Yes, we have an apple, we have orange, uh, we have the ward, this is the ball of the ward, we have soccer ball, we have tennis ball, Can you think of any objects which are the shape of a cone? This is some example like the ice cream, ice cream cone and the party hat. Now we have the cylinder. So can you think of any objects which are the shapes of a cylinder? Yes, you have the Pringles, you have the hairspray, you have the water, the bottle of the water, the trash can, you have the Pepsi Cola can. So, 3D shapes are fat, not flat. A con is like a party hat. A sphere is like a bouncy ball. A prism is like a building tall. A cylinder is like a can of pop. A cube is like the dice you drop. 3D shapes are here and there. 3D shapes are everywhere. And now it's your turn to find any object, any 3D object, any solid object around you in your house and you have to show it to me thank you for listening and have a nice day